Last Wednesday, Experian lost 24 million pieces of data pertaining to South African nationals because a fraudster was perpetrating one of their client contacts. This type of technique happens all the time in social engineering, but unfortunately, many organizations worldwide are ill-prepared to fend off these types of techniques because their investments in security awareness training alone and pen testing don't really cover the scope of these types of exercises. These types of exercises commonly use the arts of perpetration, impersonation. There might be some techniques related to using the power play when perpetrating a person of authority. Uh, there might be other types of techniques that are more psychological in nature or bringing a sense of urgency in order to coax a victim in order to act urgently on a request via phone, via email, or any, any other form of communication. And so many organizations today are simply ill-prepared and their employees to responding effectively to these types of attacks. Social engineering and red team exercises do provide a level of practice or simulations against companies that better prepare them for realistic patterns that uh, look to exploit the weaknesses in human nature. Unfortunately, there isn't hardly any regulatory push for social engineering or red team exercises, at least on the uh, US regulatory front. And as such, many organizations forego using red teaming or what we call organizational threat models. It's highly suggested that if you want to have an effective workout for your organization to have realistic threat exercises be applied against your people, your processes and your workflows and technology, you want to level up beyond a pen test and actually employ the use of a red team to factor in what many organizations are finding out the hard way, such as those members that were duped with the fraudster in Experian. Thank you.